in the wrestling belt. And for those who are watching this panel for the first time, I am the owner of Positive Educational Training, an online educational portal for the pet professional, as well as a business coach for that busy pet professional looking to run their businesses efficiently and profitably. Today, I want to talk about what is my absolute favorite form of marketing and client satisfaction, the client survey. Right? And I'm going to talk about two different types of surveys and how to use both in your business. Right? So why, why is a survey a good, a good thing? All right? Because you can, a, a survey can accomplish the following. Right? It improves service by offering actionable insights. Your clients are taking the guesswork about, by telling you exactly what they like or they do not like about your business. It identifies your weaknesses so that you can implement the necessary improvements. It measures ca um, customer satisfaction. You are able to recognize and capitalize on what makes you special, as well as identify your client advocates. Uh, advocates are those wonderful people that you can get testimonials from. Um, it increases customer retention. You are validating your client's importance to your business. Your business is telling them that their feelings are valued. Clients who feel important are more likely to stay and tell their friends just how awesome you really are. Um, it also will identify new ideas for products and services. Um, you can be on the forefront of new marketing trends by offering what other facilities are not. And it can help you with your marketing strategies. Now, I like to keep my surveys short and to the point. I prefer brief, easy answers as opposed to a number ranking. Number rankings really don't give you the, the entire story and offer the insight that you need to affect real changes. However, written answers may not be filled in, filled out without some sort of hold, such as, I don't know, return of the pet or small token, maybe an inexpensive gift or coupon. Um, my, my, the first survey, and this is what I would give to current clients. This is not something that I would do for new, trying to get new clients. Right? So the first question I want to ask is, uh, what do you like best about my service? It starts out on a positive note. It begins on a constructive rather than a destructive um, start, all right? Repeated words and phrases can be used for other marketing materials, such as websites, ads, and brochures. If it is important to current clients, it will attract future customers. Okay? It also identifies those clients that are open to a testimonial. Uh, I would choose the five most reiterated phrases when designing an ad. Um, what I normally, what, a lot of what I heard of was the words reliable, state-of-the-art, um, clean. These, these were words that were constantly repeated. This is important to your clients. So pay attention to the, to the repeated phrases in question number one. Question number two is what do you like least about my services? This is identifies where I can improve, particularly if several people mention the same thing. So if you're hearing the same complaint over and over again, that is something that needs to be addressed and should be addressed fairly quickly. Most of the time I have found that it is very specific to the client. I had one client that didn't like the shampoo scent. Okay, and we changed shampoos. Um, another wanted the, fear, the rear feathering removed. All right. Someone else wondered if I offered weekend appointments. All right, all very easily remedy resulting in very happy clients that were very happy because I took the time to address a concern that they had. So number three would be what service would you like to see offered? I mean, this will identify upcoming marketing trends. Even if only a handful of people will request a new service, word gets around. I have added spa services such as mud baths and paw treatments as well as grooming Reiki packages, which really have, you know, increased my bottom line. Um, another question might be, what products would you like to see me offer? Um, as a mobile, there would have to be a sizable demand. Um, however, if there's only a couple of requests, I may send out an email to gauge a truer answer. Um, on the other hand, a shop may have room to offer products that may now not sell quickly. Uh, but regardless, any products that I would sell, I would have to have use for it. So I wouldn't sell something that either my own dogs didn't care for because if I couldn't sell it, I wanted to make sure I still had use for it. Um, and then the last question would be any thoughts on how I can approve? And that can be a rather open-ended question and sometimes it can be a little hard to answer. Uh, so it's not always filled out. However, those that do fill out offer incredible insight, all right? Now, as a mobile, I would hand the survey to the client when I arrive. If the owner wasn't going to be home, I would email the survey along with their uh, appointment reminder and tell them I would pick it up 
when I arrived. I mean, I had 100% fill out right. Uh, if you're a shop, um, give it to the client upon pickup and then have them fill it out while you, before you give them their pet. On average, I would give out my client the survey every other year around the time that I was updating their information and I needed them to re-sign waivers. Now, the second one, all right, is, um, this is, this could be given out to current clients, but more than anything, if I was at an event, um, I, this is the type of survey I would do at, at an event. All right. And there would be anywhere between one to three questions on here. Um, but even if it was one question, this would be the question. What do you dislike about your pet, your cat, your dog, whatever? What do you dislike about something? Uh, for, for grooming, it might be, what do you dislike about owning a dog or a cat? All right. The responses here will tell you what your clients need. Asking them what they want is not always the best question. Henry Ford once said that if he had asked potential clients, you know, customers what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Right? Um, this can, can lead to um, packages that, that you could sell to um, solve their problem because people might not necessarily know what they want, but they most certainly know what they don't want and what they don't like. Right? Um, now, if I'm at an event, two other questions I might ask at this would be, um, how many pets do you have and what are the names of the breed that kind of personalize it, right? Then I would ask for their name or the email or the phone number and ask if I could email or text them information regarding question number one. So whatever their problem was, if I had a solution for them, could I let them know about that? Right? If someone takes the time to handwrite these answers, they're interested in your services. So those are my two surveys, and I will see everybody next week. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.